Hi friends, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping and Stuff. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to Stampin' Up's Fine Art Floral Product Suite, which is coming in the new January through June mini catalog. And this, this one is all the rage. The demonstrators who have it, I've, I've just been seeing stuff all over the internet made with this because it's so pretty and very popular. So first I wanna show you what comes in this product suite and then I have a whole bunch of cards I wanna show you that I made with it and we're gonna make one in particular that uses some of the really unique pieces and parts of this product suite. So let's look at the bundle first. Here's the stamp set, it's called Art Gallery. It's a two-step set. So you can stamp this part of the flower and then come back with a darker color and add the highlights to it. Same thing with this flower. Here's the piece that you can add the highlights to it. And then this is another flower that can go with it, the leaf, of course. And then I really like the little greetings in here that cover so many different occasions. And when you match this up with the die set that goes with it, we have the pieces for the flowers and the leaves, of course, these nice little ones for the greetings. And then this really adds a lot to the greetings in the set. It's a die that says, just want to say, and then you can add sorry, happy birthday, good luck, you know, any of any of these greetings in this set. So we're gonna look at some ways to use that here in a couple of minutes. We have the, pull this out from under here, Golden Garden Specialty Acetate. So this is a clear, basically like our clear window sheets, but then it has a gold print on it. And if you flip it over to the other side, it has a silver print and it's not quite as shiny as it will be because there's a like a thin film on it that needs to be peeled off just as a little FYI before you use it. But this is really pretty. I'll show you a couple of cards using that. We have our Fine Art Floral Ribbon, which is very pretty. It's just a neutral natural color with gold flecks. So this will coordinate with pretty much anything. The painted texture 3D embossing folder, which is just kind of a nice, like an oil painting or gesso type texture look. So I'll show you a couple of projects with that. Finer floral designer paper. So here is one side of it. And I know you can't get the full appreciation without me showing you the entire prints, but these are just amazing. I love that one's upside down, but I love when we come out with these prints that basically this is a work in, a work of art in and of itself. So you can put that on the back of a project and not really have to add much to it and it's going to be beautiful. And then here is the other side. So it's got those big bold floral prints, but then we have the toned down ones as well that you can match with them. Then we also have heat and stick powder and gilded leafing that go with this product bundle. If you missed my video on the gilded, my two videos on the gilded leafing, you have to check them out. This stuff is amazing. It's a lot of fun to play with and it's just beautiful on cards. So I did one, to one video to introduce you to it and then a second video on 15 different ways to use it. So I'm gonna show you a few of my card samples here in a minute that I made using the gilded leafing. So let's look at a few card samples before we put together the one we're going to make today. So for these, I took one of those big, beautiful prints and I thought, I don't wanna cut that down for a regular size card. I thought they would be perfect for slimline cards. So if you haven't tried a slimline card, I've got a tutorial on that as well. You can take a look at that gives you the measurements and everything, but I just love this. I just use that big, pretty print. This one, I just added a strip of that golden garden acetate and then a little greeting. This one, I added a strip embossed with the painted texture embossing folder and then a little piece of the ribbon and a little greeting on the on the bottom. Here's a couple more to highlight the designer papers. This one was very basic. On this one, I added that die cut in that said, just want to say, and then I used the thank you down here in the bottom. 
Now here are a few that I made when I was playing around with that gilded leafing. Here is one. I actually die cut the Just Want to Say out of our foam, what are they called? Foam adhesive sheets. So this actually pops off just like a foam dimensional. And then I put that gilded leafing over the top. Here is one. I stamped the floral cluster in the background and added the, I used gold dots and then put the gilded leafing on that. To use that gilded leafing, you just need any kind of adhesive that is still sticky. And then you put the gold leaf pieces over top and then you just have to remove the excess either with your fingers or some kind of soft brush. Here's one. I used our multi-purpose glue as the little accents. And once it was dried and sticky, I put the gilded leafing over top. And here is one where I used that gilded leafing as shakers in a shaker card. So now let's make today's project. Tell you what we need. We need a piece of Misty Moonlight for the card base. Measures five and a half by eight and a half. Here is a piece of our new pearlescent paper. Look how pretty that is. This, this paper is beautiful on its own, but my favorite way to use it so far is embossing it. That really makes that pearl look, uh, really makes it pop. Then I have a piece of this specialty acetate from this product collection. This measures three and a half by four and three quarters. Then I have a few pieces I've already prepared using the stamps and die cuts. I stamped this floral cluster using petal pink, the flower using seaside spray, the leaf with old olive, and I stamped this little greeting with Calypso coral. So what I want to do first is use the second part of the stamp set to add 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 another color to this. So add the color and the depth and the dimension when you add another color. So for this piece, I'm going to use Calypso Coral and I have this little flower stamp mounted to my block. And you don't really have to worry a lot about where you line these up. And you can do a couple of stamps if you want. So there I stamped once with the dark and a second time with the lighter color. So if you don't want them all to be quite as dark here, this time I'm going to stamp off on some scrap paper off screen and add in a little bit lighter one right there. So you can get even more colors and more depth and dimension that way. Now with this flower, I am going to bring in my Misty Moonlight ink my other floral stamp that just adds the detail. And look at that. I just love that. So now we're basically ready to assemble all of these pieces. The first piece I want to add is this embossed pearlescent piece. Oh gosh, that looks like it should be the front side. It's so pretty. They, they both look like the front side. They sh they're so pretty. So I'll just pick this as the back side. So we'll add this piece on. When you are adding the acetate pieces to your projects, it's up to you what you want to use it as adhesive because keep in mind, it may show. Now when I added it to the slimline card. Let's see, I don't know if you can see. If you look very, very closely, you can see that I ran a strip of our seal adhesive under there. There, I think you can see it. But if it's not in the right light, you don't even notice it. So you can use regular adhesive underneath if you want to. For this one, we are going to add this flower cluster on the front. So my plan is to just use some of our Seal Plus, which is really strong. I'm going to use a few strips of it here in the center. And most likely, those will end up covered up with our flower. And if just a little bit shows, I'm not going to be concerned about it because most likely it's going to be hard to see with all the flowers and everything added on top. So 
You may be able to see that underneath a little bit, but once we add our flower, most likely it will not show. So now I'm gonna play around with how I want this arranged. I think I want the pink one in the back and then I'll add the leaf and the flower on top. And this probably down in here somewhere. But I think I wanna add some of the ribbon as well. And I had been debating how I wanted to add the ribbon. I think I'm going to do one of my messy loops in the background, which I do a lot. It's kind of my go-to, my go-to ribbon technique because it's really easy and it works on lots and lots of projects. So I'm gonna stick that on there, put my flowers back on top and see if I like the way it looks. Because sometimes I don't get my loops big enough, sometimes I get them too big, and I think that's actually a little bit too big. So I am going to scale it back a little, just pull it out of the adhesive, raise it up a little, redo it. Now we will check it again. And I think I like that better. So I will cut off the end. And we will start to assemble this flower. So first I need to attach the pink piece, of course, since it will be in the background. I am going to use, what am I going to use? I was going to use some multi-purpose glue, but I changed my mind. If I use some of this Seal Plus, it will stick immediately. And that sounds a little bit easier. So we'll add that over here. Next we need to add the leaf. I grabbed my regular seal adhesive. I wondered why it felt different. I think I want to use my seal plus for this one because of all this texture and the ribbon and everything. I want to make sure that sticks. So here I'll play around with this where I want it all to line up. Press that leaf down. With the flowers, I am going to pop them up. I'll pop it up with some of our foam dimensionals. Oh, I love this. And I'll peel the paper pieces off of the back of these. this. I already have the mini dimensionals on the back. And I can add it wherever I like. That is so pretty with the texture, the pearl paper in the background, the texture, the acetate, and then all of this going on with the flowers and the ribbon. This is very pretty. So this would be a great project if you get this product suite that you can try out. Something to keep in mind if you do like several of the products in this collection, you can order the entire collection using one product number. So if you have one of our catalogs, you can get that product number on page 32. If you don't have a catalog, please contact me. I would be happy to get one to you. But you can pick and choose. You can get just the stamps and the dies if you like. You can just get the papers if you like. Or like I said, you can mix and match or get all of it. So thanks for joining in today to see this Fine Art Floral product suite. I hope these cards gave you some ideas of things you can do in your own crafting. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again next time.